lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. Sorry, you caught me doing my vocal warm-ups. I have to do them <laughs> in order to be prepared for tonight's talk show portion. Which is <laughs> Laura, you have to travel a lot for shows. You'll be at the San Francisco Punchline, April 24th through the 27th. Ooh. What is your favorite in-flight experience? Do you have one? It's, it was, uh, okay, I'm gonna keep it clean. Okay. Uh, I was on a JetBlue red eye, and uh, <laughs> as soon as the lights went out, the guy next to me in the aisle seat uh, started rubbing his crotch. Oh, oh my God. Oh, yeah. Hey! And uh, I was the only one that saw it. I was trying to flag the at attendants, you know, through blinking Morse code. <laughs> and finally, one of them goes, is there something in your eye? And I'm like, no, but there's going to be. Please do something. <laughs> and I, I took some video. I sent it to Jeff Blue, <laughs> and they gave me $100 off my next flight. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to split it with a guy because I told him, keep it going, I'll make us both rich. So, <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Was it, uh, was it Burbank to JFK? It was. <laughs> I know, you know my Jab Blue Red Eyes. <laughs> and uh, Laura, you actually came to a taping last week, right? I did. I yeah. sat in the very back and watched. You guys, if you ever are in LA, you should always come to see the show. You guys do a great job. Well played. That does, get, does that get her points? Yeah, it does get her points. Yeah, it should. Oh, right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Nobody's ever told anyone to come to tapings before. That's really nice. Um, but I heard that you said you lost your wallet here. I did. Do you think I took it? Um, I don't, but several detectives do. Oh, OK. <laughs> I'm a little shady. <laughs> so did you lose your wallet here? Uh, I accidentally threw it in the garbage. <laughs> And uh, I, I, I had your staff looking for it. And then when I found it, I was like, do I keep going with the lie so they don't think I'm an idiot? Um, and I was going to come here with my passport and be like, oh, you know, I lost my ID last week. And then I couldn't find my passport. So that's why I'm telling the truth. Oh, OK. Well, on behalf of After Midnight, I'm honored to present you with a brand new wallet. Oh, my god. So you'll oh always god. remember when you almost <laughs> lost your chair. There's an air tag on it and everything. Oh, wow. I lost air tag. I love it. Amazing. Oh, I lost $3,700. Do <laughs> you have an extra? It's we'll get you that. Yeah. I'm keeping I lost $4.2 million. <laughs> we'll get it to you, but it's going to say at M on it. Yeah, so, you know. Uh, Jackie, you have a short special out on YouTube called Looking Back, where the you deliver tiniest. jokes. The tiniest. It is a 10 minute, it's a 10 minute uh, me telling car jokes into the ass camera of a Mazda 6 in reverse. <laughs> uh, I was just irritated by specials. And so I thought, this is something, here's something that's special. I'm going to pay someone to keep their foot on the brake so it's not a snuff film. <laughs> and I'm going to have somebody film the reverse camera. And I'm going to tell jokes into the, uh, into the license plate of a Mazda 6. <laughs> what? That, yeah. That's awesome. She does therapy. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, post lockdown. <laughs> hey, Jackie, who books that? <laughs> it is such a good. I mean, every special is kind of the same now, so it's like a great idea. Right, I, I just mean, want to uh, fix it up. I want to fix it up. I know. Yeah. I'm including myself. Yeah, like, in that. She just no promoted my special. <laughs> they are snowflakes, but but not enough people are doing them over like a a, a sheer uh, thing coming off of the Empire State Building while there's no sides. I I'm just telling jokes I, into the wind. I disagree. <laughs> Maria's next oh, special. No. Do <laughs> you not love winter? <laughs> winter is coming. <laughs> Every flake is special. Anyways, <laughs> hey, yeah, come on. More, I see more, more comedy specials. God. Uh, you're also opening. We'll talk about. We'll wrestle afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, now. You're also opening for Maria on April 10th. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, respect. Yes. Yes. Respect. I am opening for Maria. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but what I want, <laughs> sorry, there's a part two. There's a part two. Who books that? Yeah. yeah. But uh, what I want to know is, how are you like a flower? Well, this is, this is a tale of how I learned about how to become a woman. Oh. Uh, my father had one, one tale for us, and he said to me, uh, I was 15, he came into the kitchen, I was doing uh, homework, and he goes, all right, uh, we're going to have the talk. 
The bee goes from flower to flower. The flower does not go from bee to bee. Guess which one you are. <laughs> that was it. That's how I learned how to be a woman. And uh, it turns out he did not know that I identify as both a flower and a bee. Oh! Oh, oh man. Yeah. Just get, are you getting the get fringe the in there? Get the fringe involved. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, finally, Maria, you'll be at the Pantages Theater in Minneapolis on April 10th. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, here. Music Hall in Munn Hall, Pennsylvania on Ooh, April 11th. And that. Buffalo State Performing Arts Center on April 12th. So, well, uh, so uh, what happens on April 13th? Uh, <laughs> love making. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know, and I don't make any promises. I, I think I'm gonna be there on those <laughs> dates, but <laughs> I'm gonna get other plans. <laughs> Based on that touring schedule, it's clear you earn money. What's the best thing you've ever bought? Well, uh, a few years ago, my husband and I were able to buy a house in Southern California. Which, <laughs> right? That's like owning a tulip bulb in 14th century Amsterdam. <laughs> it is not worth that much money. Uh, it is a two-bedroom ranch filled with vermin. <laughs> but we, uh, be, uh, we do own something. Yeah. Nice. Unbelievable. A couple of people are like, we don't own homes, so we're not gonna clap. <laughs> and I appreciate that. Uh, all three of you are friends. How long have you all known each other? 30 years. Oh, 30 years? Yeah. Six? No, like 15. We met early. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we met. <laughs> We hear about it on the podcast, Jackie. Exactly. <laughs> well, we're building a friendship that you didn't know what was happening. <laughs> well, that's the hard thing about. Feel good. That's the hard thing about comedy is you meet somebody once and you're like, we're friends, and yeah. then it's 12 years later and you're like, I've never said hi to them once again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but had we broken bread, Lori? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, I would have eaten it all, but yeah. <laughs> Since you're all so close, this should be easy. Uh, what's everybody's birthday? Lori, what's Maria and Jackie's birthday? Don't know Maria's. Jackie's is July 20th. Is it? This is what I know about Jackie. Jackie doesn't like to have birthday parties. She doesn't like to have a birthday. She won't tell you when it's her birthday. So, but it is in July, so I always try to remember that it's in July, but you do not want to mention it. Um, <laughs> would you know when my birthday is? September. Yeah! 